to another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Today's topic, Pythagorean Theorem. Let's take a look at our first question. What is the length of the missing side to the nearest tenth? So we have our two legs. So we will call the shortest leg A, the longest leg B, and the side that's opposite the right angle C. So drawing our picture is done. U is underlined and taking a look at our units. So we want to find the missing side, which is C, to the nearest tenth. And our units is in inches. Check. Now we have our formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And now for the algebra where we will substitute the numbers that we have. So A is 1.5 squared. B is 2 squared. And we're solving for C. Now for the square root on both sides. Now, this algebra we can put in our calculator all in one time to minimize our computation errors. And so in our calculator, we want to put in the square root. So that second x squared, our a squared was 1.5 squared plus b squared, which is 2 square. So notice how both a and b are both under the square root. Now we can press enter and we have our answer. Let's go back to our question and when we take the square root it will equal 2.5 inches. And so we want to double check our solution. So we were looking for the missing side, C, to the nearest 10, and it needed to be in inches. 2.5 inches, and we solved for C. Now let's take a look at our next question. What is the length of the missing side? So we have our two legs here. So we will say this side is A. Looks like we're solving for B. And the longest side, which is opposite the right angle, will be C. So we have our picture. So D is for draw a picture. U is for underline. So we're looking for the missing side, which in this case will be B. And our units is in feet. Our formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now let's substitute for our algebra. So A is 12 squared. B is what we're solving for. And C is 20 squared. Now we will solve this just like any other equation. So we're going to subtract 12 squared from both sides. So this will give us a zero pair. We're going to bring down b squared, and that's going to equal 20 squared minus 12 squared. Now for our square root on both sides. Now we're going to put all of this algebra in our calculator at one time to minimize computation errors. And B will equal 16 feet. Now let's double check our solution. So we were looking for the missing side, which was B. We solved for B and it should be in feet and it's in feet. So we actually solved what we were asking for. Thank you for watching another episode of Wagstaff Explains. 
Now you know how to solve problems involving Pythagorean theorem.